And I want to be true to those stories. I want to be true to you guys. Oh, how these segments evolve sometimes. Like, I'll tell you how this one started out and what it became. So I saw Superman was trending. Discovered it was because February 29th is widely accepted to be the birthday of Superman. And Rachel Brosnahan, who is set to play Lois Lane, posted a TikTok with her two castmates, Nicholas Holt and David Cornsweet, to commemorate the first day of shooting the new Superman movie. That was going to be the segment. So I went to James Gunn's profile, the writer-director, to see if he posted anything about the beginning of shooting, and he did. James posted an image of the Superman suit with a sprinkling of snow on it and wrote, Overjoyed to be announcing the start of principal photography on Superman today, February 29th, which just so happens to be, coincidentally, an unplanned Superman's birthday. When I finished the first draft of the script, I called the film Superman Legacy. By the time I locked the final draft, it was clear the title was Superman. Making our way to you July 2025. Oh, okay, so there's a title change too, so I need to acknowledge that. Now, I did recall that James mentioned the project in that DC announcement video in January 2023. Next up is the big one, the true beginning of the DCU. This is called Superman Legacy. This is being written by me. I'm in the middle of it. I'm having a great time doing it. So yeah, he called it Superman Legacy in that video. And yeah, so between now and then, you know, the title changes to Superman. Not a big deal. Titles change all the time. I was curious to see if he's posted about Superman at all between then and now and how he referred to the movie. And yeah, one of James' pinned Instagram posts is from April 2023. There's the front of the script. And James's caption says, Pre-production has begun in Superman Legacy. Costume and production design are up and running. Those aren't up and running on film until the script is locked. And that script says Superman Legacy. I was going to allow for a little bit of leeway and be like, okay, well, maybe it's just one small aspect of the script that was still like up in the air in April 2023 when the other departments started getting rolling. Mm. But then, that's not even the last time that James refers to the film as Superman Legacy. After the writers and SAG strikes were over, James wrote on November 11th, 2023, that Superman Legacy will still make its original release date of July 11th, 2025. Every time James posted about the film, he called it Superman Legacy. On January 31st, 2024, James acknowledged the year anniversary of him announcing Superman Legacy and still called it Superman Legacy. On February 1st, he represented the Superman Legacy Tech Scouts as they scouted locations for his locked script. February 2nd, he announced that John Murphy was going to score Superman Legacy. Then his next post about the film is February 21st, and he simply used Superman as his hashtag as he reveals that he's giving tours of the built sets. Then two days later, on February 23rd, he only uses Superman when acknowledging the first table read. So the title changed in between February 3rd and February 20th. Like, there's just no doubt about that. Like, it's right there in front of you. <laughs> and once again, sets, costumes, location scouting do not begin when the script is still going through drafts. Rachel Brosnahan revealed to The Hollywood Reporter in January that David was already on location. They're out in Atlanta. They've been out in Atlanta doing some fight training. And yeah, all this is, like, inconsequential. Like, it doesn't matter. A title change doesn't matter. So now is where I go into, like, the theorizing and the hypothesizing. Like, why deceive? He could have just said, we've decided to change the title to Superman. Like, he didn't have to include the untrue statement about when that happened. So why do that? Well, I saw in the wake of the title change that comicbook.com has written a think piece defending the title change. So this is a big deal to a lot of fans, and James would know it's going to be a big deal to a lot of fans. So he's going to have to justify or back up, you know, the reason for the title change. And then I thought, well, saying that the script basically spoke for itself and told me it was very clear that it needed to be called just Superman. You know, it's going to be harder for fans to argue against than the actual reason that would have happened over the last, you know, three weeks. It would have been something like they did a focus group or just the big wig at Warner Brothers decided that Superman Legacy is going to be a harder title to market than just Superman. Or, like, some legal issue around Superman Legacy. Or just, like, looking at the legacy of DC <laughs> over the, even the last, like, year. Now, Peter and I have gotten pretty lucky in terms of the four projects that are coming out over the next year. James went through the movies that were already in post-production when he came on board that would lead into Superman Legacy. First, we have Shazam! Fury of the Gods. From a budget of 110 to $125 million before marketing, only made $134 million. He connects very well. That moves directly into The Flash, a fantastic movie that I really love. With a budget of 200 to $230 million before marketing, only made $271 million. Then to move into Blue Beetle, a fantastic film. It made $130 million against a budget of 104 to $125 million and was the lowest grossing DC Universe film. And then into Aquaman 2. It did surprisingly well. It grossed $434 million against a budget of $215 million. Which leads directly into our next few projects. And they've already moved in the direction of they're getting rid of everything that happened before. So yeah, another reason to get rid of Legacy is that you don't tie yourself to the Legacy of DC up to this point. You want to start completely fresh. And on top of that, you're going to have the legacy of Henry Cavill hanging over this movie. The guy that was fired, then hired back, then fired again by you. Like, I mean, it's all hanging over your heads. So yeah, let's just get rid of all that, that whole legacy, and start fresh with Superman. That might be the reason. 
Yeah, so I don't know what the actual reason was for the title change. I just know that the title change only happened in the last three weeks. And that's not when the script was locked. The script was locked 11 months ago. Yeah, what are your thoughts on the title change and why deceive of when that happened? And I can't wait to start to dive into these stories with you guys on this grand adventure. Thank you so much.